Welcome back to another episode of Learning to Cook on a Budget with yours truly. I have lots of different episodes in this series here on our YouTube channel, so go and check out the playlist or poke around and see what other fun things you can learn to cook in your kitchen. I'm trying to help you learn how to cook so you feel more confident and have a little bit more flexibility and tools in your kitchen tool belt so that you can cook more at home, spend less money outside with DoorDash and restaurants and takeout and yada yada, the drive through woo. Uh, we wanna skip all of that so we can save as much money as we can on food by cooking more at home. So that is the whole reason that we have been sharing these videos with you throughout this last year. I know we've all felt the pinch of the food price increases that they seem to have leveled off, maybe not quite come back down, maybe they won't. I kinda of was hoping they would, but I don't know. Anyways, I wish I had a like crystal ball and could tell you, but, since we don't, we're learning how to cook more, at, uh, learning how to cook at home so that we can make more food at home because that's definitely the most affordable way to do meals. So for today's recipe, it's a stovetop chili. I did an instant pot chili in the last video, and this, this time we're gonna do a stovetop chili. This is just really quick and fast. I mean, I could probably have this on the table in 15 to 20 minutes. We want chili to take its time in cooking because that time gives it that opportunity for the flavors to, to get together and marry and mingle. However, if you need a quick option, this one is really flavorful. Flavorful. Highly recommend. We are making bacon cheeseburger chili. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to get right to it. I'm going to use the pound of ground crumbles with the onion. A little convenience factor there. Disclosure, I have been doing paid TV spokesperson work for Pound of Ground, but I'm also using it in my kitchen all the time, which is why I'm featuring it here in this video. They are crumbles of ground beef that are frozen. You buy it frozen, you store it in the freezer, and then you can cook it from frozen in less than 10 minutes. It's completely browned and ready for all of the other ingredients of our chili on the stove top. All right, before we get our chili going, we do need to cook bacon. The bacon is the garnish. We're gonna cook a couple slices up and crumble it. So you can do that in the skillet even in the microwave. I shouldn't even say that out loud, but I'm gonna say it anyways, because that is a fast way to do it. Not my favorite way, but it's fast. And also you can cook in the oven. I like to do the big batches of oven, uh, a, a rimmed baking sheet, a, a foil, or even an oven safe cooling rack that the, um, the grease can drip down from the bacon, give it a little extra crispiness. You can bake that at 400 degrees for about 22 to 24 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how thick the bacon slices are. That's my favorite way to do a large batch. Of course, if you just need a couple slices, you can do that in a skillet. Next, we're gonna assemble the chili. We're gonna do that in the same sort of style that I shared in the, in the guidelines and the, in the ordering from the homemade stock video. We're gonna start with our aromatics. In this case, that's going to be the beef, the onion, and the garlic. And then we're gonna layer in liquid and other vegetables. In this case, it's going to be beans not technically vegetables, but we're gonna add in beans instead of vegetables. And then we're gonna finish it off with some cream and cheese to give it that nice creamy texture into the chili. I'm gonna get this pound of ground frozen crumbles right in here. So the nice part about this pound of ground version is that it has the onions already mixed in with the beef. It's just the right amount. So all I need to do is add a little bit of garlic. I'll probably do about a teaspoon's worth. And we're gonna let this saute together in our Dutch oven or large stock pot. So step two is gonna be our liquid. In this case, it's beef broth that I made from bouillon base. And we're gonna let this come up to bubbling. While we're waiting for that to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and open a can of white beans and a can of pinto beans. You could do two pinto beans, it's totally up to you. I think a milder bean works really well. We really want the, the beef and the cheesiness of this to be kind of the stars of this chili. And so the beans are really there to um, give it a little bit of texture as well as stretch out the protein. I'm gonna drain these lightly um, it's okay if a little bit of the bean juices get into the chili, but I am gonna drain them just lightly. And then we're gonna mix this up and bring this to bubbling, and then all we have to do is stir in the cream and the cheese, and it is ready for dinner. Our beef and beef broth have come to bubbling, and I'm reducing the heat down low because we are gonna add in dairy, and I don't want this to overcook, so I've reduced the heat to low. I'm gonna start with the cheese so that that gets nice and melty. 
And then we are going to swirl in the cream. I'm just gonna get all this cream out of here and give this a good swirl. And then it's going to be time to serve it up. In like 15, 20 minutes, this is ready to go. We used our pound of ground beef crumbles, just a pound of ground beef will work as well. A little onion garlic, white and pinto beans, and then the cream and the cheese. That's what gives this, this, this flavor. Like a lot of times chili, you need that extra time to cook, but this is super flavorful. I'm just gonna add a pinch of green onions. And finally, because this is bacon cheeseburger chili, we do need to add some bacon. So I just have some cooked bacon. You could mix it in, but I prefer bacon as a garnish. I don't love it cooked into a soup like this, like a loaded potato soup. I want that as a garnish, not mixed in. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just gonna cut this down and then we can just add a little sprinkling on top. Then you can get a little bit of bacon with each bite. I hope you learned something new in this week's episode of the Learn to Cook on a Budget series. This is such a fast and easy way to do dinner that's still super flavorful, this bacon cheeseburger chili. You wanna save this recipe, look below the video somewhere. We also have all the tools that we used in this video as well as the other soup videos that we have shared this month. Please like this video if you learned something new. Also, go back and watch one of the other episodes in the Learn to Cook on a Budget series. This is officially the last episode. We have a lot of videos that you can go back and watch through. Lots that you can learn so that you can then be confident and have a little bit of flexibility when you're working in the kitchen so that you can ultimately spend less money on groceries and on your food budget in general. Go back and watch those other videos, learn something new, you can cook alongside of me or you can watch and then get to work in your own kitchen. And I hope you enjoy all of the different meals and ideas that we shared in this series.